Saturated fatty acids have been the subject of much debate and controversy in recent years. Some health experts claim that these types of fats are unhealthy and should be avoided at all costs, while others argue that they are a necessary part of a healthy diet. So, what's the truth about saturated fatty acids? Are they really as bad as some people make them out to be? First, let's define what we mean by saturated fatty acids. These are a type of fat that is solid at room temperature and is found in many animal products, such as meat, cheese, and butter. They are also present in some vegetable oils, such as coconut and palm oil. The main concern with saturated fatty acids is that they can raise levels of LDL cholesterol, which is often referred to as bad cholesterol. High levels of LDL cholesterol have been linked to an increased risk of heart disease, which is one of the leading causes of death worldwide. However, it's important to note that not all saturated fatty acids are created equal. Some types of saturated fat, such as those found in coconut oil, have been shown to have a neutral or even positive effect on cholesterol levels. This is because they contain medium-chain triglycerides, MCTs, which are metabolized differently by the body than other types of saturated fat. Furthermore, many studies have found that the link between saturated fat and heart disease is not as clear-cut as once thought. For example, a large study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found no significant association between saturated fat intake and the risk of heart disease. So, what does all of this mean for our diets? Should we be avoiding saturated fat altogether, or is it okay to consume it in moderation? The answer, as with most things in nutrition, is not black and white. While it's true that high levels of saturated fat can be harmful to our health, it's also true that we benefit from some saturated fat in our diets. Saturated fat is necessary for the production of hormones and cell membranes, and it also plays a role in the absorption of certain vitamins. The key is to consume saturated fat in moderation and to choose healthier sources whenever possible. For example, Instead of reaching for a piece of bacon or a cheeseburger, opt for leaner cuts of meat or plant-based sources of protein, such as beans or peas. It's also important to remember that not all fats are created equal. While saturated fat may have gotten a bad rap in recent years, it's important to remember that there are other types of fat that are even more harmful to our health. Trans fats, for example, are a type of fat that is often found in processed foods and has been linked to an increased risk of heart disease and other health problems. In conclusion, saturated fatty acids are not inherently unhealthy. They are a necessary part of a balanced diet, but it's important to consume them in moderation and to choose healthier sources whenever possible. By doing so, we can enjoy the many benefits of fat while minimizing the risks to our health. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and bye.